good times and bad times and many a times in between. And we've done things and been to places that should have never been. Every time I had to make a major decision in life, particularly in business, I asked myself this question. Does this decision make me freer or less free? And I always opted for the freedom. Now, oftentimes I had to trade serious money to, ex to, to go for the freedom. But in the long run, I've evolved myself to not have to have pay attention to anyone else's rules and just my own. This boat, I don't think of it just as a boat. I think of it as a magic carpet. I think of it as this world's smallest country. I'm the king of my own little, tiny little sovereign nation. But my love is not like chains to shackle you down. My love is not my brand to keep you hanging around. My love is like the ocean, strong and deep and true. All the love that I have, I'm bringing it home to you. I used to work for a giant publisher that had 500 employees. It was very hard to turn that ship of publishing around. I've reduced that company, that concept, down to a little tiny 43-foot company named Ganesh, my yacht. And I'm able to turn that around very quick. I'm able to respond to the demands of the marketplace instantly. I write books because I'm filled with zest for living. I take that zest, I package it between the pages, I put it into an ebook format, and then I zip it off to the internet. And soon I'm collecting royalties on those electronic rights that anyone in the world can buy instantly over the internet. Our vessel isn't just our business, it isn't just our home, it isn't just our sport, it isn't just our recreation. It's our entire lifestyle all rolled up into the one. And I, every morning when I wake up and I smell the salt air and I look up at the rig and I see my flags fluttering, I think to myself, this is the life. My love is like the ocean, strong and deep and true. All the love that I have, I'm bringing it home.